This episode of The Republic is brought to you by Elder Scrolls Online. To receive 20% off, just head on over to OfferGB.com slash ESO. Game Breaker TV. What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, The Republic, episode 177 for April 4th, 2013. You're watching Game Breaker. I'm Gary Gannon. Coming up on today's show, Bioware insanely rocking our world. So we're going to go over the PvP Q&A, PowerTech Q&A, and so much more. Joining me as usual, Mr. Larry Everett. How are you, sir? I'm good. Doing great. I'm catching all the sales on tour right now. I am in-game catching the sales. As we're doing the show, yeah, I want to hear about because that. Because I can't so, miss, can't miss out on those. Yeah, I want to know what's going on there right now. Also joining <laughs> us as always, Laura Williams. How are you, Laura? I'm great, thanks. I excellent, am not excellent. catching the sales at the moment. What's going on with the sale? And joining us is uh, the princess. Um, what's going oh. on? <laughs> <laughs> she needs her own for- corner. Yeah. yeah. What's going on over there? Was it hourly sales right now? On a free? Uh, is it all weekend? Is it just Friday? What's the what's the it's deal? Just just today, actually, wow. just today. Flash uh, sales. Since, uh, what they're selling is uh, the stuff on the cartel uh, cartel market. They're putting something uh, like extremely low every hour. Something different every hour. Um, like 80, 90 percent off yeah. normal cost. It's um, it's amazing. We've been able to get some like whole outfits that are usually, you know, uh, almost. You know, fifteen hundred cartel coins are going for like one hundred and twenty cartel coins. Whoa. They had some mounts up there earlier. Yeah. I think Baractal was up first thing this morning, like nine o'clock. It was eighty percent off. I know they had Treek up there earlier today. That she was what eighty percent off as well. Yeah. So was everybody just like it's staying up. online, just nonstop for the sales? Or, or they're coming back like I did, like once every hour <laughs> at the top of the hour. They're like, oh, yeah, okay, I don't want that. Okay, Have they, they done this before? The is, this, is this the first time we've done no, a this? Is the first, hour? first this time. is the first time. First time mm. that we've done this. Mm. Yep. For some and, reason, uh, I expect uh, good things, and I think you'll see this again. I don't know why. I, I, I think your enthusiasm. I know. They're just going to be like, wow, we've got like quadruple the amount of people online right now. <laughs> at, least, okay. at least at the top of the hour they do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, so we, I got I I picked up uh, just to give you an idea. I picked up one of the uh, pod racers that they mm-hmm. have. It's the uh, uh, Senar PR3. It's uh, like a silvery blue one that has fins on it. It's a pod racer. I got that for what did I get that for? I got it for like um, let me check. Hold on, what did I get it for? 180 cartel coins. Normally runs about 2,400 cartel coins. Wow, so that's a big sale. Yeah, that's a big deal. Absolutely. Well, well, if you're watching the live one, you're probably logging in right now if you didn't know about it. But uh, anybody watching yeah. the live stream uh, well, and posted on the site, sorry, the sale's over. You missed out. So. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to wait do for this the next one. Now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. So, first up this Picked week, another one in June. The fifth class for Galactic Starfighter has been announced. Drum roll, please. We've been talking about it. We've been trying to figure out what else it would possibly be. That's right. It's the asteroid class. Yeah, asteroid. Yay. This is yes. a ship I can get behind. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that awesome graphic Well, because I definitely w- don't want to be in front of that ship. <laughs> yeah. Features are limited entirely to a, a rocky hull and a tractor beam. That's pretty much <laughs> what you get. It's amazing. Um, why did we think of this? I would. How did no one on this show? We didn't. Anything? We didn't think about the battering ram class. I mean, gosh, that is, it's basic. <laughs> it's like PvP 101. Why didn't we think of that? It's a great idea. I can't. <laughs> I, I, whoever thought of this should definitely get a raise. Um, Absolutely. I would say without shields, you're gonna have to pretty much be smart. You're gonna want to blend into the environment. Not want to get uh, killed. But the range. asteroid has the highest armor rating of all of the ships, so there it's okay. You can take a couple of hits, especially when you, you know, somebody's coming around and they least expect it, and you just kind of jump out in the way, and then, bam. Are you able to jump right out? You just like, oh, does the asteroid just? <laughs> you just it, no, well, it's, it's more slow like moving, float, so you probably right? like float. <laughs> it's like turn. 
<laughs> you don't see me coming. You don't see me. I guess the, I, I see, this is a, yeah. this is an entire fleet of asteroid fighters. I think. <laughs> yeah, yes. Look at that. It's, that's how amazing it is. Actually, if you switch, someone's between, entire team is just going to be asteroids. <laughs> if you switch between the two two uh, images, is that uh, did they just copy and paste the the uh, the asteroid exactly. from one image to the other? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even built. It's not even built in 3D into the scene. It's yeah, just a it's not. It's a they just copy and pasted it. That they copy and paste it on top of a screenshot. That's GG. Really good. <laughs> GG. April Fools, everybody. There you go. Pretty, I'm kind of sad fun. that that's not real. I was gonna. I was going. That that was my next question. Is I could. Do, do I could completely see them putting this in the game at some point? But who would not want this? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> who would they were not... even talking about awesome achievements that you could get in Starfighter flying your asteroid, such as <laughs> the fist bump bro to crash your asteroid into another <laughs> asteroid. Um, roid rage, get killed 10 roid times rage. and then rage quit in the middle of the match <laughs> while piloting an asteroid. Um, Courtney Woods had the best one, I think, which was back that assed up. And oh, that's if you're in the asteroid and you press S to fly backwards, yeah, yeah, I was kind of excited for those. What do you think? I think they why would they, they should put this in? I mean, it's, it's just a rock. Put a rock in. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> fly a rock. <laughs> fly around in your rock. Are you? I don't know. Are you, are you bummed that this was an April Fool's joke and they didn't actually put this in the game? Oh, yes, actually, I was bummed. I mean, Larry, I laughed hysterically, just but... He's like, no. I, it's so no. horrible. It's so horrible. You, you <laughs> Happy Hansel in chat says, piloting, uh, a pilot is a pet rock. There we go. The pilot is a pet rock. <laughs> that's, an, that's one of the companions you get with it. Pet it's rock. A little, the pet rock. It has little googly, googly <laughs> eyes. Yeah. And oh. my, like, a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think, I think that'd good be Good times. Bio, but Bio, BioWare did say that there's going to be a fifth class coming, though, didn't they? They said there would be another class. Yes. Let's hope it's the asteroid. Yeah, that's yeah. We can only only hope. Who's the fourth April. guy? The fourth guy is Leia. Yeah, who's the Leia. fourth guy? Oh, it's Darth Vader and Princess Leia. I don't know who those people right. are, but not sure. Never heard of them before. Never. Should probably turn and off the show right now. <laughs> All right, so uh Next up, Bioware has uh, answered some of the community's most frequently asked uh, questions on the P versus P. Um, when they were asked about being able to choose a specific war zone to queue for, the answer was pretty much no. Which I think is pretty much the usual response uh, that we, we kind of come to expect, especially because of queue times. But I got to say, I, I understand the argument and I understand the queue time thing, right? But... Mm -hmm. Should you really force players to play war zones that they really don't want to play? I mean, I understand everyone's just going to play Hutball, but damn. <laughs> Let's be honest. All day. All but seriously, I mean, could you imagine if, like, League, you know, made you do a rotation and you had to, like, you know, play Twisted Tree Line and, like, some other things that, like, you know, maybe people don't yeah. want to play? Like, they don't want it. Just let them play what they want to play. Uh, you know, you know what the the thing is uh, about them not uh, about players not being able to choose. Let's okay. Of course, there's a queue time issue. So, but I think we'll address that later in one of the other questions that's asked. But uh, um, imagine as a designer, and you want to know, okay, which war zone do people like the best? You want to know which one they do. Oh, well, come how, on. we all know, Larry. Larry. We all know. There's no. Let's secret. say. Let's. <laughs> Let's say they're choosing between the two different hot ball maps, oh, and they want to know. Where, there we go. That's. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the better question. Which hot ball do you like better? Um, so let's say they wanted to choose between the two different hot ball maps. Obviously, it's going. To, the best way to do something like that is to see which ones people want to queue up for, and that option's not there. So whenever they're doing PvP zones and they're creating new PvP zones, they have to rely on, I don't know, word of mouth or something. I mean, what happened to the met the metrics that they, you know, that they're so famous for, right? The, it, I said it's a bit gone. of snark. It, I said it's a bit maybe. of snark in the Larry effort. I, 
Yeah, but I mean, think about it. Back, remember back before they made it so that you could queue against um, your own faction, and all the times that all the people got were Hotball. Yeah, I wow. don't want to go back to that again. I like having the choice, and honestly, Hotball is not my favorite map. I mean, I like it, but if I had to choose one that I play all the time, it would be Hypergate. Hmm, interesting. How about out of the um? Out of Hotball, though, we got the new map, Hotball map recently. But which one do you guys like better? I haven't played the new one yet, but yeah, I but think the new one looks fun. It I kind of like the, the idea of the having to climb. Times. The queue times on Tessner are horrible. So, yeah, we'll see. So, when, it, when it actually launches on live, I'll let you know. We'll check, it, check back with us next week. Next week. Yeah. And hopefully they have fixed the acid pool so that people can see <laughs> when the acid is pouring down on you. That would help. That would help. That's a kind of a you know, thing that might, well, it's yeah, so, you know, yeah. so you're not purposely running through it and then wondering why you're taking damage and slowed. I don't know if I, but I still have to go back to this war zone thing for a second. I don't know if I, I understand that the designers want every war zone to be played. I can understand that. Yeah. And they didn't want to have like, you know, a best war zone, but there is like that, you know, the, it, it, there's always going to be a it's best slightly one. warped logic. If the community prefer one zone no. war zone over another, fine. Let them prefer one over the other. Now you know what they, they can do. They can do it just like they do the PVE side with with the flash points. Is that okay? Sure, uh, you can queue up for just one particular war zone, but you're not going to get as good of returns on it. You're not going to get as hey, good of diminishing for returns. It. Yeah, something along that line. You know, if you only want to do the two hutball maps, okay, you get only so much. Um, uh, rewards for it. If you want to do them all, you get exponentially more rewards. So, I mean, th that's uh, why not do something like that? That is, that's, I mean, uh, okay, Q times, but uh, do we want to address Q times right now? Because that's another sure. issue kind of Tell all me together. What's going on with the Q times? What's happening? <laughs> well, the, the Qs in general, one of the things that they, that they have absolutely, I think uh, we talked, it's on the list here later, but they said that they are not going to do cross server queuing. That's not even on the board mm -hmm. for the which, new cross server queue, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about this. Because a lot, of, especially when you're when you're concerned about okay, which what what up, uh, excuse me, what PvP zones do people want to play? Well, the, there could be more options if there are cross server queuing, because then you wouldn't have to worry about queue times as much. Because now you have the whole player base to choose from instead of just why one do you, server. Why do you think they're taking that that stance? I, I I don't know. I'm completely flabbergasted. I know I know there's technology issues, which I uh, well, which, if it's technology issues, then they should just come out and say, you know what, guys, sorry, it's a limitation of the the game engine or the game or the way that it's ooh. built. This is just not something that's going to happen. But you know that I, you know if, that if, if that's really what it you is, know the, then you just know the rage say that. that will ensue. It'll be hero I, engine but I think, all over I again. I think that people It'll would appreciate be... an honest answer rather than just saying, well, no, this is never going to happen or maybe someday in the future or probably not. Like, just if that's what the problem is, then say that's what the problem is. I like I, Laura's see, world. I, I really do. I just don't know. <laughs> if, I don't know if the internet is ready for the truth, yeah. Laura. But I agree but, with you. Know, you. The, I completely I, agree. I, with I you. agree too, but I don't think that, that I don't think that that's the issue. I you don't, don't think, think it's an engine issue? issue? Well, no, it, it might like uh, sort of be that issue, but it's not an issue that's unsolvable. You know, maybe it, it's a very it, expensive issue. Well, it is, but the thing is, how much how how much money have they lost because they don't have it? That I mean, that's Probably that's a what lot. They have they've to lost live. a lot of the PvP community. I think so too. I think they've lost a lot of money. Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of some of the initial issues that that they had whenever they had uh, a bajillion servers and nobody uh, and all the servers felt kind of empty. Wouldn't would that have it completely eliminate the cross server queuing that would have completely eliminated that at least on the pvp side because it would have felt like the servers are full because queue times are popping you know and it wouldn't really have made that much of a difference that the servers were that empty yeah and i think the hard thing to really figure out here is especially without like looking at data but and they have the data yeah. is that what i don't get from 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 taking this stance is i totally understand like you know but if there are some you know technical like you know hurdles that they have to get through or but but not allowing players to choose like this, like to me, what it does is then it makes you go, how many other maps are there that are kind of mediocre that you kind of don't want to go through? How many? Oh, uh, 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 
all the de- all the de- uh, defense maps like uh, Alderaan. I want to do uh, Denova. Like roughly, don't want to do that. roughly, how many do you have to so go through? At least you don't. At, oh, well. Well, it's completely two. random what you get there. Like, you could get the same one five times in a row. You could get a different right. one every time you go exactly. in. Exactly, but that means that, like that I mean, means potentially five times in a row. You could kind of be in a pissed off state of mind for PvP because you're just like, oh my god, I hate this map. Like, I don't want to do this map. Yeah, like, it just doesn't. I just, I just yeah, getting like, Alderaan twice in a row. Getting Alderaan twice in a row. Oh god, I'm done with PvP when it happens. I mean, <laughs> we all know it would be Hupball all day. That's the thing. It would be Hupball all day. That's all anyone would queue over. Twenty four hours. That's pretty much what would happen. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is that real? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of with Laura because I, I think, I I think like people would rage quit because there's still a lot of people that don't understand that the key to winning hotball is passing. Yeah. I, I so can only play hotball for so long before I'm just like, I, well, I can't be in a team with people that don't know how to pass. The, the thing that happened with hotball, I think, well, I don't know about now. Currently, it might be, the, the story might be a little bit different. But um, uh, originally, what happened with hotball was that was the only, uh, only, sur- uh, only game that you could play that was. Uh, you can play your own faction, and whenever you had, uh, for instance, on my server that I was on originally, they we had an abundance of Imperial players, and so it was constantly hotball all the time. However, now it might be a little bit different it's with new people coming in and rotating out. Hotball might have gained a little bit of steam, but for me, it's still kind of eh, I've seen this thing for the last couple of years, and it yeah, it doesn't really do it for me anymore. And people have got the strat when you when you're up against a, a pre made the strategies for hotball people have got them down. I mean they're across the they're they're across the court in no time. And, yeah, I don't know what the yeah. answer is here. Maybe some sort of incentive incentivize players to play some of the other maps, but I, I don't know. I think I think giving the freedom at least would make people feel a little bit better. Who knows? I, what do yeah, I, I know? Incentivize. They don't, want, they, incentivize. They, don't want, they don't want to hurt the uh, designers' feelings that their maps. That's right. So they don't want to, whoever designs. Uh, 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 Gabe Amitangelo, who designed uh, Alderaan, they don't want to upset him. He's no longer with the company, but they don't want to upset him anymore. All right, I want to talk about these uh, <laughs> this, this league stuff here, but really quick, I want to tell you about one of our sponsors. It's uh, Elder Scrolls Online. That's right. You can save 20% off. The game went live what, yesterday. Official launch. I'm actually, I'm playing. I'm having a fantastic time. I'm in love with an MMO again, I must say. That's awesome. I am loving the Elder Scrolls Online. What 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 are you playing? What uh, the Aldari faction? Dominion, of course. Excellent, excellent. Of course, good good choice, sir. The only choice for me. <laughs> uh, I'm loving it. I, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, if you guys haven't picked it up yet, check out some streams, watch some YouTube videos, see if it's for you. It's a very story uh, based MMO. I guess it's kind of in a sense. I gotta say, to some extent, it's it's. I'm gonna say it's I guess like Star Wars esque in a sense it's not sci fi but like the last Ray game that we saw with this much story and voiceover and all that kind of stuff oh, as was was yeah. Swotor so yep. it might be worth a shot it's not free to play but uh, we got twenty percent off so if you guys haven't picked it up yet uh, we've got a twenty percent off deal that's both on the uh, regular digital edition or the digital imperial edition not the hard uh, box edition not, we don't not not on those so if you're looking to pick up the digital or the digital imperial just head on over to offergb.com slash ESO and uh, make your purchase through Game Breaker. Um, we also have a bunch of other deals. If you just go to gamebreaker.tv slash deals, D-E-A-L-S, it's our page that we try and find really sweet deals for you guys on games. So check it out. There might be something else over there as well, but this deal on Elder Scrolls is definitely a really, really good one. So 20% off is quite a bit. I mean, if you buy the collector's edition, I think you're saving like, I don't know, 15, 16 bucks. I think it's the best deal around. I think we've got the, I think we've got the best sale around. So check it out. Offer you beta contest slash ESO. All right, so tell me about um the Hotball League. Um, Bioware said that uh, a Hotball League wasn't on the roadmap, um, but it's on the wall of crazy. Apparently, what 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 exactly do people mean by a Hotball League? Like, what's going on? They want to have like a season and teams, and I assume like some sort of I don't know, maybe it's like a fantasy like football that. team. No, I'm just, I'm assuming that it's that would be like a um I don't know like yeah like like a like a season where certain certain teams are pitted against other teams and the, the, you know there's a chart that breaks it all down and until you have like the super hut ball or whatever something like that yeah super uh, more than just that, the frog dogs and the rot worms right that'd be that would be sweet and, and yeah and then that would be awesome too to have different jerseys <laughs> and whatnot oh that would be so cool i mean what, do you oh. think do you, 
could could that could that really help sort of the PvP community? What do you think? Do you think creating something like that would kind of get people to rally around it? I mean, they're saying they're saying not really anywhere on the roadmap at all. Yeah. Um, if they had cross server queuing, <laughs> seriously, I'm dead serious about that. But I mean, I'm jo- kind of joking. But how, yeah, I'm how serious. Are, let's go short. back to that for a second. How are how are queue times at the moment in general? Queue times in general are are fine. You know, I mean, it's not. And now, as far as ranked is concerned, ranked can be a little bit rough, uh, depending on the time of day. You do definitely have to make sure you're hitting ranked war zones at the peak times if you don't want to wait for forever. But you know, time, the regular war zones still yeah. have a pretty decent pop rate. Yeah, you're not you're not waiting too long. You know, just a few minutes. What do you? I mean, if you, yeah. You know, I wonder. I guess I wonder if like. I don't know. Do you think like the com- the server the server? I was gonna ask if the server community like rivalries that like build up on servers have anything to do with this. But I, I it sounds to me like the Aww. PvP community is so small at this point that it probably doesn't really exist without w- without the crust server. So it's I don't think you'd really be breaking that, would you? I, I no. I think you'd be more think interested in it if they had the cross server queue. I mean, what do we have realistically for servers? Like seven. Seven nine something like that. I mean, it's it's really really small amount, and there's not really a good reason to say, oh well, you know, it's not going to foster community on your server if we introduce all these other people. And I just think that that's a little bit ridiculous because there's not a ton of servers to begin with. And a lot right. of that that was that was a, an argument from a lot of MMO players for a long time is that like you would lose that sense of server pride sort of thing. But again, I don't think Sotor really has it anyway, and most games have kind of lost that whole. That whole mentality. I don't know. I, I, I just, what well, basically what ha, I can tell you what's happened on my server. I can't. I I can't speak for other servers because, but I'm sure some similar things have happened on others. Is the you haven't created a sense of rivalry amongst the PVPers. It's almost a sense of camaraderie amongst mm. the PVPers, and all the all the PVPers who are, who are or all the gamers who are into the game because of PvP, all hang out together, and actually some of them are even on the same like Mumble server. They're on opposite teams. <laughs> they're on opposite factions, but they're all on the same team speak or Mumble, and they all that kind of like, coordinate. That is like kind of funny and kind of sad. Like that. <laughs> yeah. That is kind of sad. Wow. That's what's wow. happened, and that, you know that's that's kind of what's happened. And if the but. I, I can almost almost guarantee that that kind of thing would not happen if there wasn't if, if there was crossover queuing and we're and we're now talking about uh, defending your server as a PvP. Now, granted, you might get the two factions on that same server to kind of coordinate and work with each other, but uh, they would be less likely to work with somebody from another server. All right. I know you guys aren't huge PVPers, but uh, let's talk a little bit more. Than who is at this point, right? Let's let's be honest. Um, <laughs> but they so said Bioware's still saying they said in the last uh, what did they the last cantina that PVP is still a huge thing in 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 Star Wars. Well, all right. Well, maybe we're just sure. out of the loop. That's what we we were just out of the <laughs> loop. Yeah. Um, but they did talk about rank season rewards, and they say that they're still happy with the 1500 rating on the high end um, for rewards. What do you guys think? I mean, it's still like what the top five percent of players. I mean, it sounds about right. That's what they're saying. That's and, what they're saying. Yeah. And you know what? Kudos to them because that rancor is amazing looking. Amazing. That's not going on sale next hour. No. 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 Damn. Definitely not. I know, right? I'd be, um, I'd be all over that. It is sweet. I am definitely jealous of the people that earn it. Congratulations. Do you see many of them around? I saw somebody with it on the test center when I was on there. Yeah, there's, and there's it was, some. It was gigantic. It is it like seeing a Jedi? And is it like seeing a Jedi in SWG? I kind of sat there and I was like, oh, I want to come and touch it. Um, if you have a Rancor, Laura wants to touch it. That's what she said. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> That is what she said. That's what she said. Uh, it, it is kind of like it, it is kind of like seeing a Jedi. Uh, it's a little more common than that, but yeah. yeah. Um, they also said uh, they wouldn't they had no plans of bringing eight v eight ranked war zones back. No. 
Have people gotten over this yet? This is, kind of a, this is kind of a big deal when they removed 8v8. Has, has the community gotten over this yet? Apparently not, it sounds like. No, I, people are so mad about it. They ask, they ask all the time on the forums, when is this coming back? Bring this back. We want ranked war zones. We don't necessarily... I mean, I guess the are, people are all right with the arenas, but I think if they had the choice, the player base would choose, the, uh, would choose ranked war zones rather than the war on four arenas. How do you guys feel about open world PvP? You guys, you guys into open world PvP at all? Because no, no plans to expand that. that, that no, because the yeah. last time I did open world PvP, my computer seized up. Which <laughs> could totally be because my computer is not amazing, but it was horrible. No, it's def it's definitely just the fact that it was the like open playing on a slideshow. It was so it was sucky. Awful. It sucks so bad that it just made your computer get sick. That's basically that's <laughs> the computer said, <laughs> "Oh, what is this?" <laughs> No, uh, there there is some that it, that it exists. I, I, from my understanding, it's sporadic. It doesn't happen uh, constantly. But there are there now. Uh, if there is an event like the last Rat Ghoul event, oh yeah, Rat Ghoul event. If you're yes, running around flag, there's a good that chance that somebody's is, gonna shoot you amazing. in the face. It, that is Probably amazing, me. and that is open world. What um, else you got? You got you got uh, just the dailies and there's just those events, right? Right. Well, can, like, question. for for instance, there's there's really good. Uh, I, I know that people are um, PVPers, on, especially on PVP servers. Uh, you don't find it so much on PVE servers, but on PVP servers, you'll find people on Oricon because uh, that will be flagged. Well, obviously they're flagged a PVP server, uh, but we'll all uh, like choose a time or whatever. Maybe there's it's just at random. And they'll all go to Oricon, and they'll just start battling it out in the trenches of Oricon because this it's a really it's kind of a con, kind of confined as far as the space is concerned, and it there are missions for both factions in the same area. And if you're on say a PvP server, it's an excellent opportunity to run into the opposite faction. How are arenas doing? How are they? they said there's no timeline to improve the matchmaking for arenas, um, but they're looking to avoid things like, you know, having like four power techs versus like four assassins, things like that. Is that like a common thing? Cause I don't really, really think that that's all that common. My, I kind of felt like that example was uh, a little extreme. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I kind of agree. I think, however, it's not uncommon to see, multiples of the same class in uh, in an arena not not four versus not four power techs versus four uh, four assassins but you might get like say two assassins or uh, versus you know two uh, I don't know operatives which is um, which is actually detrimental there has been some detrimental matchmaking as far as that that's concerned when when if you say, if you say for instance have two assassins versus two operatives on the other side, it could have been better matched if you just switched the assa one assassin with the operative, because you'll get two healers on one side ver and two tanks on the other side. And it's and unfortunately this game isn't quite rock paper scissors when it comes to uh, you know DPS tank versus healer, so. Yeah, it, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite balance out all that well. And there's, yeah, and you it's can't do not that. Great. I mean, you can't control who's queuing up for it either. Right. And so if they would implement something like cross-faction queuing where you have other servers where there's a larger population of people queuing for ranked matches, you would probably have better pairings going on. So, you know, they can look at it that way too. All right, let's move on and talk about the, uh, the class that are power tech questions so the first question was pretty simple uh our class sucks we do about 10 to 15 percent less damage than others what are you guys going to do about it how did bioware respond well they said yeah that's true you kind of do but we don't really have any plans at the moment for it and we're not really going to discuss it at the moment so, uh so maybe we're going to buff your dots for power uh sorry power tech and assault specialist but we're not ready to discuss it yet so basically they question. said yeah you suck and we're not going to fix it no no um, they said they were going to fix it no just not oh, right we don't now. i'm sorry we don't know how to fix it which is 
worse. They, yeah, they did also say, <laughs> what would you suggest? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know what? There's nothing wrong with asking for feedback. They did that with no, sorcerers in one of those threads, and it, it actually, they got a lot of positive feedback from that. Yep. So let's not totally discourage the fact that they kind of sidestepped the entire question. Now, uh, now that, be, that being said, I, I, okay, yes, power attacks are uh, outputting less damage than, uh, you know, what do they say, 10 to 15%. And I, I don't, and I'm not saying that they should not. Uh, be buffed or you know there, there doesn't need to be any changes there however for the content that exists right now in game they are still viable especially when it comes to pve and definitely when it comes to pvp but uh in in pve they are still viable in fact uh one of our guild uh guildies is a power tech and he and we bring is, him to raids, and he's really yeah. DPS. He's he's one of the t he's one of our top DPS, at least in the top three or four every time. Because hmm. that was my next question. In our sixteen like, man, in our sixteen man. I was my next question was really going to be like you know in in your guy in your all group you know are the power tech kind of like the scrubs and you just kind of like shun them off, but you actually right. you're bringing them to the group and now, the top of the list. Yeah, now what now to that, be fair, what does that say? What does that say about you you guys? <laughs> That's what I want now, to know. Now to to be fair to be fair though. Um, it is a very difficult rotation, um, and and this and this this player is really good at the, at this particular class. So there is there is definitely a higher learning curve for playing a DPS power tech, but um, it's not impossible. All right, the second question was also pretty simple. Uh, our class sucks. Uh, we have half as much crowd control as other PvP tanks. What are you going to do about it? How did Bioware respond, Larry? So they said, yes, or you have less CC than <laughs> everyone else, but we looked at the metrics and power techs win more than any other tank. So metrics, bitches. Suck it. <laughs> so <laughs> suck it. <laughs> no, they didn't right. really say that. They didn't really say that. They said, yeah, they said, no. metrics, they bitch. More than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They and said, they said that our not metrics sure. are bigger than your metrics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and bigger is better always true story um, is, they also which, said that they're not sure that they want to give them more CC they don't really think that that's the direction that they should go in but what would the community like to see yeah what would you guys like to see how do you, how do you guys think the, uh, they could improve uh, PvP tanks I, I, that, see that that's I don't know I don't know about that. I, I think I think you're you're talking about um, and and this is way oversimplifying it, so um, nobody hold me to this, but it, this is way oversimplifying it. You basically have one that that is all about aggro control, completely about aggro control and uh, and defense, and then you have one that has a little bit of CC, a little bit, a little bit less aggro, aggro control, uh, so it's kind of mediocre, which is like your juggernaut, and then you have one that is all about CC. And that kind of, although this, this again is way oversimplifying. I think it it just it adds variety and and color to the different types of tanks that that's out there. So I I don't see honestly any problem, and I don't really see them under. Well, obviously they're not underperforming in PvP, which is what they're what they're mostly talking about here. Uh, they're not underperforming. Obviously, they so. should just buff their damage, and then they'll be happy. Yeah. Simplest solution. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. And make gravel have no cooldown. Rock says. Rock says paper needs nerfed. Scissors is fine. <laughs> People are really liking the taunt mechanic. Is it not enough uh, these days? <clears throat> yeah. I taunt taunt in. I, I think I think a lot of people and I, there's a couple of tanks that are in our chat room right now. They're probably. Um, that that'll probably uh, uh, say something different, but I, the taunt mechanic is almost uh, almost an emergency kind of thing. You don't use taunt to maintain uh, aggro. You use taunt if you cannot grab aggro any other way, and and so 
the, it's kind of a different taunt mechanic. Not really. It's not a whole lot different, but it is kind of different than than other taunt mechanics. And so you, it's, it takes a little bit of use get used to. Sometimes you have to sacrifice uh, defensive prowess for uh, DPS output so that you can uh, gain more aggro. So it's it's a little bit different. And but as far as power attacks are concerned, I don't really notice that they're any different. I really don't. Any thoughts, Laura? Uh, obviously, they should change taunt so that it forces players to actually turn in and attack you rather than just reducing your damage. Need more, need more. All right, third question wasn't super interesting. Uh, looks like Power Techs will be getting some minor talent buffs at some point. I, and he's just improving build synergy, I, I assume? Well, um, they gave a couple of examples talking about um, some talents that you can take in the tree that actually make other talents weaker. Um, for Pyrotech, they specifically gave the example of the prototype particle accelerator, um, and that's supposed to give uh, Rocket Punch and Flame Burst. Both of them have a chance to reduce the cooldown on a uh, rail shot and then make it instant, but because they have a talent called Rapid Venting, it gives them 2% alacrity, and apparently that makes the prototype particle accelerator talent proc less often. Um, and then they also talked about in shield spec, there were a couple of um, shielding talents that um, they don't activate if you have really high defense. So BioWare came back and said that the alacrity is probably going to get changed to range and tech crit chance in a future update. And as far as the shielding goes, for two of them, um, shield vents and hydraulic shield, they're going to change it so that misses and resists will also cause those to trigger. But as far as a uh, heat screen went, it can also, there's already other things that will trigger it. So they're not sure that it's, um, that they want to have it trigger off of misses and resists as well. Um, they said that this could come as early as 2.8, but there's no promise that that actually will happen. 2.8. So, basically, to sum up um, that entire rant, don't play a power tank. All right. <laughs> oh, one more thing before we go. So, uh, next weekend is the makeup double XP weekend um, for the FUBAR that they had with Kua Drive Yards not giving XP, and apparently people not getting XP um, from regular flashpoints, depending on their group composition. So if you missed out leveling last time or you want to level again or you've got something else, we're getting another double XP weekend. It's running the 11th through the 13th. And Mark supposedly they yeah, and supposedly they did fix the problem. Um, definitely with group flashpoints, uh, group compositions, some of them not giving XP. And they said that they think that they have fixed Kuat drive yards. Um, Eric Musco said that they were not able to replicate the um, the problem on their test server so it may just be something on on live but they're they're going to be watching that um he gave kind of a condescending answer about how some people may not understand the difference between double xp and rested xp and may have had unrealistic expectations about how much xp they should be getting um it was kind of a shitty answer so hopefully it's fixed anyways so everybody double xp yeah. 11th double xp I'm not taking off work again for it, but <laughs> Laura Williams, we, we follow her on time. Twitter at Void Minx, V O I D M Y N X, and of course, right here on the Republic every uh, Thursday at six Pacific. Larry Everett, follow him on Twitter at Shadow S H A D D O E, and of course, go over to the Hyperspace Beacon where you can read his weekly Swotor column. Check it out! Check it out! Check it out! All right, guys. Have be a great double weekend. XP weekend. Double XP, Taking double XP, work. double XP. Follow me, Gary, and follow <laughs> Gamebreaker TV, Gamebreaker TV, and go to Facebook.com/slash Gamebreaker TV. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. See.